Christ Way Church welcomes you. Let's hear what God has to say through Pastor Anu. Praise God. God bless you. I am so glad to see you all this morning. Greetings to you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We read in John 17 chapter, those who have accepted Lord Jesus Christ as their personal saviour, are so precious to Lord God Almighty. But not many of us are dared to think that God would be so happy to see you that you have gathered here. He is so happy you won't be understanding that. Whenever you come to Lord's presence, you should have that gladness. Yes, I am going to church. This is God's family. God will be so happy to see me. So you should be dared to think that God would be so happy to see you. He has got a bigger plan about you. He loves you. But Always you should know your most valuable position of God. There is nothing more important to God than you. You can refer this scripture, Psalms 32, 8, Psalms 33, 18 and 1 Peter 3, 12. Our subject today is be self-controlled, be alert and resist Satan. It's very important to understand who our adversary, the devil is and what he is able to. God gives us advice about Satan in 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9. Be sober, be vigilant because your adversary devil walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing the same sufferings are experienced by the brotherhood in the world. In essence, God's advice to us is to be self-controlled and be alert and resist Satan. How do we resist Satan? By standing firm in God, standing firm in faith and trusting God and in His principles. And we are advised to be self-controlled and alert. Why? Because even though we understand that God is all-powerful and He cares for His children, He loves us, we cannot afford to relax and be careless. We are being called upon to be thoroughly self-controlled and be alert to resist Satan. We need to keep resisting Satan. Where? In our heart, in our attitude, in our thoughts and in our actions. You should take your adversary personally and you have an enemy you cannot see. Be alert specifically in your weakness. Your weakness is his advantage. Your weakness is his profit. Your weakness is his aim. Whether you believe it or not, this is the fact. You cannot become a successful follower of Lord Jesus Christ until you understand that you have an enemy who works tirelessly to turn you to back into a sinful life. What is his aim? You should be a sinful person. God loves righteousness and God bless righteous people. God takes righteous people to heaven. He knows that's why we are in Christ. We are not righteous, we are sinful people, we should be righteous people, isn't it? He knows very well, so he wants us to put us into sin again and again. He has got certain authority that you should understand, that's what I am going to talk to you today. Yet most Christians are ignorant about him, we are under constant attack by him, but we have no idea the battle is therein. Our enemy knows when we are most vulnerable, how does he attack? Through our weaknesses. We have an assurance from God that He will not allow us to be tempted more than we are able to. He said tempter, but more than we are able to, He will not allow us to be tempted. 1 Corinthians 10, 13 His attacks are deliberate, willful, the purpose of doing harm to us. Our spirit, soul and should be always attacked and this attack could come at any time. and from anywhere, remember that he has got an aim. You may not be having an aim. Satan is real. He is living with an aim. Okay. What is his aim? His aim is that we should go away from God and we should not do the righteousness of God. He wants us to fall us in the temptations and we should be sinful day by day, day by day, day by day. And we should live in ignorance of all this what God is telling you. That's why. You don't read the Bible, isn't it? You feel bored of reading the Bible. When you read the Bible, God will talk to you. When you hear 
the messages again and again god will talk to you he will tempt you he cannot make you do anything it is you are the person who has to do the things but he can tempt you that temptation will come that strong desire in your hearts will come so here is satan's authority let's understand what satan can do to us jesus warned peter satan wants to have you to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not luke 22 31 satan has authority to sift us with the permission of god god allow satans to do this to refine us and we will be sifted by various kinds of temptations so during each time we should know our weaknesses god's goal and our goals are different we want comfort and blessing easily from god but god wants growth and maturity in righteousness god asked us to pray lead us not into temptation all of us know matthew 6:13 and that means we will face temptations god is asking us to pray so that we will not fall into temptations so how can you have self control without prayer sweet hour of prayer we sang that song isn't it sweet hour of prayer tempter comes to tempt me i'm going to fall in my temptation but if you pray understand he will definitely give you self control self control will not be that problem you may be finding self control a problem because you are not praying enough even he has told us in matthew 26:41 stay awake and pray lest you will fall in the temptation so point number 1 you have to notice is if you don't pray enough you will not get self control you will easily be falling into temptations there is no doubt about that falling into the sins of our flesh is the way satan can attack us satan cannot impose evil to you please understand don't be scared of satan he can only tempt you but if you are careful about yourself you will not fall in the temptation he will see that you will fall in the temptation hmm? for that he has got authority hallelujah but if you are falling satan knows evil will definitely happen to you satan knows but believers don't have this understanding hallelujah falling into the sins of our flesh is the way evil can happen to us miseries and sicknesses and failure can happen to us we need god's help for what for righteousness to do righteousness sweet hour of prayers sweet hour of prayers see i will always tell you we all have problems in this world we all have loads to carry heavy loads of this life eh isn't it you know that you are worried today why looking at your problem isn't it we all have problem looking at the problem you are worried the weight of your problems are giving you pain isn't it the same time you should have a pain of the weight of your sins weight of your sins you are carrying do you know after coming to christ you should understand all these truth weight of your sins you have no self control in any of your characters sin is accumulating in you that is the reason in one side you are unhappy you should understand it is not only the problems are making you unhappy your sins are making you unhappy think about what i am talking so we need god's help you know that god's help to solve your problems please understand you need god helps to deal with each unrighteousness in you god accepts you as you are and god's blessings and god's promises have conditions attached many won't believe jesus said in john 8:24 you will die in your sins if you don't believe who i am you will die in your sins if you don't believe who i am why did jesus christ come into this world to cleanse us to help us to live a righteous life that is jesus christ i am the way i am the truth and i am the light only i am the way jesus told there is no other god beside me when we talk other religious people will tell you people are very narrow minded should be broad minded you should accept all the gods Jesus is telling I am the only god I have come from father in heaven I am the way 
I am the truth. I am the light. There is no one beside me. That is our master says and he is. Why he says? Only he can lead us into righteousness and bless us. He has died on the cross for this purpose. Hmm? So those who believe that we are very narrow-minded, you should make them understand. It is not narrow-mindedness. There is no other God. Satan also sit on the throne and say that I am God. And he will do miracles and signs. Finally, what is his aim? To take you to hell. Hmm? And make you believe. Once you die, you will become dog, cat or kate, whatever. Hmm? And you will be so much believing in that. But this kind of truth is not prevailed in this world. That's the reason you have to go and tell the gospel. That's the reason you should have the desire to tell the gospel. You will think, oh, they don't believe. They are very strong or they are very educated. Hmm? All such excuses you have. Unless you go and tell them and make them understand, people will not understand. That's the reason Jesus Christ is telling how beautiful is the feet of the people who take the gospel. Hmm? How beautiful is the feet of those who take the gospel. God is watching. Your feet is going where? God is watching where all your feet is going. Hmm? Is your feet going to tell the gospel to give the understanding about God? Think, think throughout the week what you are doing. Hallelujah. So God's blessings have conditions. Conditions attached. Why? Because of our sin problem. Hallelujah. God wants us to deliver us from all our problems and pains, but God have condition. Deuteronomy 11, 26 through 28. We read, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. Blessing? Hmm? Blessing? I am setting before you. God is telling. I am setting before you. Blessing and curse. Anything you can choose. Blessing. When you obey the commandments of God and curse, if you don't obey the commandment of God, he is very clear. There is no compromise. He will never tell that, come, somehow I will adjust and bless you. Come, come to church. Somehow I will adjust and I start blessing you. He will not tell. So, there is no in between. He said, if you obey, I am there for you. You will have all sort of blessings. Don't have to worry about any problem and pain that you are suffering today. I will bless you. I am your father. I love you more than your mother who gave you birth. Understand me. I will never leave you, never forsake you. That's what God says. At the same time, there is a curse. He has promised blessing and he has promised curse also. Especially believers won't believe. Hallelujah. He has promised damnation. For our soul, if we don't obey, for whom it is written, for those who don't know and those who don't obey the gospel, Second Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9 and Romans 2, 8. So, God allows you to go through a period of sifting. Simon, Simon, Satan asked me to sift you. God is telling to Simon Peter. It is written in the Bible. Hmm? The same way, Satan will ask. Jesus, sift Hanu. Sift such and such person. Hmm? Hallelujah. Sifting is a process where chaff of the wheat is removed, you know. So, sifting for us is, it is the time of our pains, sufferings and sicknesses. Hmm? That is the time of sifting. When you pick grains of wheat, it has a little paper like chaff that is in a dibble around it, sifting get rid of what which is not useful. God allows us to go through the time of sifting so that things in your lives that need to change can be removed. It's a time of growing. Sifting is a time of growing. It is a time our faith is challenged. It is the time when things can happen that are not in our control at all. And it is the time to exercise self-control for the believers in their thoughts and actions. And not only it's the time for all this, it's the time you can be a witness to God. You can see the loving hands of God if you are going through your sifting righteously. Your problem has got a purpose. If you are going through a problem, when you come out, you will have a blessing. God has kept a packet full of blessing, wrapped with glittering colors, divine colors of papers. Hmm? You have problem, 
if you come out righteously take this this blessing nobody will ever understand how could this happen i don't deserve it it can happen you can really understand that this is not human this is not natural this is supernatural if you are sick that's the reason i told you repent repent kneel down hmm? don't grumble murmur and talk all the talk repent worship god make a decision that you will not repeat the sins that you are sinning if your heart is really pure you get the blessing you get the healing you don't have to go to hospital that's the reason i tell you but many of you don't believe you have to trust god in times of your sifting and you are under satanic attack god allowed this to transform you it's a period within your life when you need lot of prayer sweet hour of prayer sweet hour of prayer what you are praying when you have problem definitely people will pray you are praying for that problem to go isn't it take away this problem you will pray dear believers understand the truth god will take away the problem that is his decision that is in his authority what has to go away sins in you and in your family problem is there at that time what are the sins in your family don't entertain if you are entertaining those sins for some quick remedy you are going to face more problems in future please understand stand against all kinds of unrighteousness stand against all kinds of sins so during this time either you will fall or you will stand prayers meditations and the word of god against your wrong and sinful thoughts praising god will give you strength at that time human weaknesses are satan's advantage be mindful of them hallelujah god doesn't want you to waste any of your pain and hurt or sickness please understand god doesn't want you to waste any of your pain sickness or any trouble hurt work with that i told you a glittering blessing wrapped in glittering papers it is cut for you start worshiping god don't grumble don't murmur don't be sad these are the principles of god so god doesn't want to waste any of our pain he wants us to work with them and get strengthened if you don't what will happen if you don't do what i am telling you think oh it is very difficult what will happen to you you are going to witness this you will become more weak your faith will go away from you hmm? if you go in some other way momentary blessing you may get but you will be adding a curse along with that so you will never feel happiness i am not telling any momentary happiness you don't get you may get but it won't last the moment you accept jesus christ god put you in this process you will go through this process again and again until you become like a pure gold you keep receiving your blessings and protection deliverance from past miseries as you keep going through this process getting better getting better in righteousness day by day this has started when when you accepted jesus christ as your personal savior but majority of the believers don't believe this process majority of the believers don't understand this process as a result what is happening your sins are increasing and your problems are increasing if you are with me after you are born again this is the gospel i have been preaching to you if you were working with every message i am giving you if you are working with me definitely your problems might be solving getting solved at the same time if you think oh pastor can preach like this who can obey pastor doesn't know my problem self control is very difficult for me if you are telling i am sure that check your problem and two things you should check your sins and your problems your sins are increasing you have no control plus your problems are increasing it has become too much noted and you are really losing your faith any time you may fall is it your condition after coming to christ way church i am asking this is the process god expect everybody to do after you accept jesus christ hmm? as you are becoming better and better you can see things are changing Eh, things are changing things are changing your family people are changing your miseries of the past are changing your sickness are getting healed 
even if doctors say there is no healing there is no cure there is no medicine in the medical science for your sickness god will heal you through this process please understand he is god he is god hallelujah so the trying of your faith and you becoming more like jesus christ day by day is more important for god write it write it more than what you want you want your problems to be solved immediately that is not god's priority god knows you have pain god knows you have problem but he is telling work through my ways i will solve it miraculously that is me i am not human it is supernatural hmm? that's what god is telling but if you are thinking oh this is a very long process let me go through short ways hmm? shortcut is not a way to success please understand hmm? hallelujah test and challenges of life allow us to grow to maturity removing all chaff from our heart god doesn't just allow satan to try us or attack us and test us any time he wants satan doesn't just come and attack you he will ask god's permission can i do this to such and such person can i do this to christway member christway pastor he will ask to everyone eh matthew 4:1 job 1:12 and god has to allow him testing in the life is necessary do not take your troubles and test and temptations lightly sometimes these test and temptations you go through maybe through your thoughts you won't be able to control your thoughts you will have panic thoughts you will have worrying thoughts anxious thoughts hmm? painful thoughts fearful thoughts you need to work hard in your thoughts at such time you should capture all your wrong and sinful thoughts against the word of god and replace them with the right and righteous thoughts if your thoughts are too crowded if you are not able to control if you don't know how to handle your thoughts at the same time you want to come out if that is your problem dear friends understand start worshiping god start praising god lord i don't know how to deal with my thoughts I praise you I worship you you are my good god hmm? in the praises of god lord inhabits psalms 22:3 isn't it you can see that strength is coming upon you faith is coming upon you the love of god is coming upon you witness this my friends i am not chuma telling you you are not trying so you are not understanding what i am talking so you may think there is no meaning in my talk worship god worship god god you are good you are good you are good you are good i am not able to control these thoughts unwanted thoughts i don't want but still i am not able to control worship god worship god praise god you will be out from that you have to do this otherwise you won't be able to help yourself in your thoughts jesus said to peter in luke 2231 even knowing he would initially fail the test when you have turned back strengthen your brothers there is another truth eh right? jesus knew that peter is going to fall peter denied jesus christ isn't it after this temptation after this sifting peter denied jesus christ so he knew that and he is telling him when you have turned back strengthen your brothers this is the another truth you have to understand you will never be able to strengthen others until you are passing the test and able to stand in righteousness until you have learned to stand how can you help others to stand hmm? even he is telling peter when you come back strengthen your brothers in your sifting if you are falling always in your sins you won't be able to touch anyone you cannot be a profitable servant your feet will not go to tell any gospel your feet will hold you back to sit at your throne comfort zone you will be at home with your work you will never go you will never have that burden even if you go you don't get if you keep falling please understand when you come back you understood yes these are the areas i am sinning i should not commit i should be a better person hmm? you are working hard you are working hard hmm? then god will use you otherwise you can never ever be a useful or profitable servant we need to learn our enemy he is real he is out to sift you 
eh? even if you don't believe he will sift you peter's temptation was what fear he fell in fear he was overconfident he didn't pray also those days he never had good prayer time that's the reason jesus christ was told stay awake and pray i am going to pray you people pray here but what happened when jesus christ came back these people were like christ we church members always sleeping hmm? isn't it peter was sleeping that's the reason he didn't get strength if he could have really prayed he never could have fallen he was overconfident he was the person who said jesus am i going to deny you i am going to come with you till my death till your death and my death i will be with you is the person who told so bravely in the same way you are all telling you will never fall you will never go away from christ way church how is your prayer life how is your desire you will one day go away from christ way church satan will chase you out please understand this how many christ way church people are still remaining in christ way do you think they don't want they really went no they wanted to stay back many came to christ way but you have an enemy to chase you out if you don't have a good prayer life for your character hmm? please understand so sifting on the other hand is satan's effort to destroy your faith peter pictures satan as a roaring lion he is walking around whom he may devour know this truth satan is not directly dangerous as our own sin don't think that oh, you satan 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 is not harmful he can bring some problem to you he is not as harmful as your sin if you fall in your sin only he will will come isn't it so your sin and my sin is more dangerous than satanic power please understand he knows in revelation 2:10 we are warned do not fear what you are about to suffer behold the devil is about to throw you some in prison some people will pray lord no problem should come up everything should go good in my life one day everything will be good so he will be praying lord ah today was so good no problem no fight everybody was so loving we ate biryani and ate appa some days when we make biryani also no taste Lord, it should not happen. Lord, it should be like this only every day till I die. It will not happen. Next day only one big problem is going to come. How do you handle? You should accept it. Jesus Christ has already told, isn't it? You should be prepared. Some problem will come in the house. Big fight or anything, anything. Big problem. If you are praying. you will never ever fall in temptation you will understand and he will give you strength you will have control over your anger your madness that time we will all go mad don't go mad hmm? why you are going mad because you are not praying why you are not praying you don't need it hmm? you may be praying for the case of this world but about your sin problem you are not praying so please understand so he is telling here in revelation 2:10 behold the devil is about to throw some of you in prison that you may be tested for 10 days that you will have tribulation be faithful i will give you the crown of life 10 days means it is not exact 10 days it is the duration of our struggle sometimes we will have problem we don't know how to come out don't worry keep praying problems will come keep praying and do the righteousness that's all that should not upset you you why this has happened why this has happened in my family cool down cool down and start worshiping god god is in control and control if you are the main person control your character control your character you are the main person control your character only through you god has to do something to your family please understand you feel anger you feel irritated last week we have learned about irritation eh? you will go mad you don't know what to do you want to throw everything and go away and you will say that there is no god nothing where is my god all nonsense at that time you will speak but if you are prepared 
yes problems will come what problem when we will not know it may surprise us it may give us too much pain but we should be ready to face you are the main person understand through you god will bring deliverance to your family please understand take the responsibility if you close your eyes and ignore you think things will become better or if you run away from your family you think things will become better for you no be wise that's why i always tell you be wise be wise be wise so we need for our daily struggling encouragement that the time of suffering and weaknesses will not abandon faith and curse that's why you have to be closer to a church we have to keep getting our encouragement from each other otherwise at such time we may jump out of our faith but john 10 27 through 30 jesus said my sheep hear my voice and they will follow if you are god sheep you will follow if you are not god sheep you will find it very difficult he said my sheep hear my voice and they will follow me how do you know you are a real christian how do you know you are a real christian you will have no problem to carry his cross and walk behind him what is the cross our obedience otherwise you are a god you may be coming to church eh you may take holy communion you may read bible you may pray you will do everything your religion is christianity but you are a god you find it very difficult to obey what jesus christ says another truth we need to understand about enemies revelation 12 10 we read satan as an accuser of brothers and sisters satan accuses us before god day and night his job is only this please understand read the scripture revelation 12 10 and 11 he accuses us you may forget your sins you don't care about your sin but he will not he has got a notepad he may be having a mobile one is enough for him immediately such and such person what he is doing he will be noting he will be saving <laughs> he will take it to heaven and tell see who is doing what eh? this is all his aim please understand he is very brilliant eh? he is very active why he is doing that so that god can stop your blessing or what you deserve you are his children you deserve all his blessings god can stop you by doing this please understand you may forget your sins you may not remember your sins but satan will never forget please understand and in 11 verses we read revelation 2 11 they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony and they loved their lives even unto death this verses is giving us the instructions how to overcome satan and evil in our everyday life it's through the blood of lamb blood of jesus christ and through the testimonies your testimonies you should have enough and more testimonies don't say that oh i am in christ i don't have any testimony because you are living as a god you are not hearing the voices of god and and obeying within one year you will get lot of testimonies why one year when you submit yourself only god start giving you testimonies hmm? so through the testimonies you will overcome so it is written they overcame who are they they are the believers who overcome satan and receive the blessings that god has promised in their life including their eternal life they are the hard working believers of righteousness growing in the fruit of spirit and also growing as profitable servants not chuma going around and coming after evangelism they are profitable servants means they are gaining souls if you are not gaining souls you are not profitable please understand you are just doing your business but you are not profitable please understand so they are the overcomers who grow in righteousness and they are profitable servants so satan constantly accuses before god about sins we do we may not notice or remember but he will be keenly watching and he will never forget he takes them before god so that we don't get what we deserve if we are submitted to god to live a righteous and holy life even if we sin god will forgive our sins first john 17 says if we walk in the light as he is in the light he will forgive all our sins when he will forgive our sins please understand when we want to live a righteous life not just asking forgiveness and repeating the sins this is the error most of the christians believe today many many people will believe that the blood of jesus christ will continue to cleanse them even if they continue in their sins no God is watching how much you are doing the self control and another truth is since we committed in our past 
often leap into our minds without warning and this will aggravate our feelings of personal guilt and worthlessness and they may keep coming in our hearts and you may hear an inner voice a personal voice in you about your guilt and that voice may tell you you are a sinful person you are the worst sinner available in this world and you are not going to make it and you are inferior to all other believers are you hearing this if you are hearing understand you have a problem of unforgiveness if you have a problem of unforgiveness still if you find it difficult to forgive the people you keep hearing this all past sins satan will be reminding you and make you a big sinner you will be tired 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 if you are such a person understand you are not dealt with your unforgiveness you have still unforgiving problem repent pray and believe and keep telling yourself i will make it i will make it because romans 8:1 says there is no condemnation in those who are in christ i will always tell you don't keep guilt feeling in you or you are not able to never keep never keep the guilt feeling in you you are ready to move forward then why do you keep the guilt feeling so today understand if you are not able to deal with that guilt feeling you have unforgiveness problem second way to overcome the enemies by the word of your testimony please understand there is a connection between morality and miracle god is a miracle working god god is a miracle working god god is a miracle working god god will do miracles what is miracle please understand that is about natural things isn't it about what is naturally possible that is called miracle god will do when when morality increases in you when righteousness increases in you please understand so there is a connection between morality and miracle when we grow in purity and holiness that god instruct you to live definitely miracles will happen in your situations and solved problems will be solved sickness that doctors say there is no cure that will be healed your hard people will be changed please understand that same miracle when it happen when you change that you don't like isn't it <laughs> when i change only all these things happen oh you it's very difficult when you change that will happen if you find it difficult to change nothing is going to happen but god is a miracle working god please understand we will receive many unbelievable divine blessings from god they are called testimonies these miracles you should have hmm these miracles you should have in your life these testimonies you should have in your life corona came i told you don't worry don't fear about corona christ way church people should not get corona hmm if you walk in the righteous ways you will never get none of us got please understand it was a testimony hmm this is called miracle testimony you should have how many people died how many people were fearful but you were not fearful many of you were but because you were in the church eh you got strength from the church and the pastor isn't it otherwise you could have been fearful eh many people have put drum of sanitizer only in front of their house no you should be careful eh you should be wise but you don't have to be wise in righteousness the same people i'm asking you yes you should be wise with mask everything you should but you don't have to be wise with your righteousness you don't have to be wise with your unrighteousness and sin you can just ignore that and be careful about all these outer things that's why when i believe god blindly people will tell you are mad yes i am mad for righteousness i know when righteousness grows what can happen i have experience i am experiencing hmm? those days you remember anything you bring are you sanitizer in the kitchen everywhere washing with the sanitizer eh again with surf detol up what all people were doing even in believers house and if we don't know they will mock at us because they don't understand the truth i didn't do all this i was not scared about anything but i was wearing whatever the government was telling we have to obey so i was doing please understand all this truth morality and miracle so what did i say this testimony will help you to stand against the satan satan will come and give you doubt confusions eh satan will come and tell you oh this is not going to happen when this will happen then you should keep reminding yourself 
that testimony. Oh, how did that happen? It is God only. Satan will come and tell you there is no God. Foolishly you are believing. You have one fool friend. He is telling there is no God. Go with him. Enjoy this world. You may think that, yeah, it is true. I am one fool. I am coming to church. Eh, I am withdrawing everything. My friend is coming. Coming to bar. Do everything. Eh, all this wickedness of this world. Enjoy. Your life is there to enjoy. Make money and enjoy. Oh, let me go. All these doubts will come when you don't have testimony. This is what I always tell you. How testimony. You should keep remembering the testimony. Testimony is making me to stand. Till today here, you please understand my testimonies. Even for me also doubt and confusions will come. But I remember my testimonies. What God says is true. Yes and Amen. Didn't Jesus tell you that? Didn't God tell you that? Whatever the world is suffering, I will not make you suffer. I mean failure and other things will come. Like fight in the family because many kinds of people are there. I am not telling that. Sickness, eh? failure, miseries, accidents, all these things will not come to you if you walk in my ways. So you should have that strong confidence. So when you are in the problem, you should remind yourself. You should respond to your miserable doubts and negative thoughts by remembering your past testimonies. The testimonies that overcome the accuser has no human element in it, isn't it? There is no human element. So God's power will be there. You will get more faith. If you don't have any testimony, you will not have any faith. You will go away from God. Please understand the truth. People won't live according to the standard of the Bible and they will accuse God. And they will say that there is no God. I challenge you, live according to the standard of God and be a blessing. And through this, Lord is living. Hallelujah. Living for you. Chuma, he is not living there. Living for you. Hallelujah. And third way of overcoming the accuser is by loving your life unto death. That means complete decision to walk through this righteous ways. I have decided. Don't turn back. Whatever comes, don't turn back. I will walk through this righteousness. If you have decided, Satan cannot touch you. Hallelujah. He will come with temptation, but you will not fall. Hallelujah. Your decision to live the newness of life and a pure and holy life will help you overcome Satan's victory over you. But many of us are not practicing this so. You are not seeing the loving hand of God in your problems and families and you are not seeing the miracles of God. Friends, understand how miracles of God in your families. You all know how your families are. You all know how your family members are. What we need is miracle. The situation in your family, you know. Walk in God's ways, the head of the family. Head of the family. If the head of the family has not come to Christ, you be the head of the family. If your parents have not come to Christ, if you have come to Christ, you are the head of the family in righteousness. Walk through God's way. Bring miracle. Don't live a loose life. You are going to suffer. Satan is behind you to put you into the temptation more and more where you have no self-control. You have no self-control because you have no prayers. Please understand. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Please, once you are in Christ, be blessed. Dance every day. Hmm? Don't sit and cry and put the blanket over you and sleep because of your problems. Even if problem is there, dance. Don't sit and cry, my dear friends. Don't sit and think, you, I have this much of problem. Yes, I have problem. This is what I will always tell you. I have problem. My good God is there. My good God is there. Nothing bad is going to happen. So, Many of us are not practicing this, so you are not seeing the loving hand of God in your problems and families. You are not seeing the miracles of God and you are only witnessing the Satan's work. Beware of Satan. Be self-controlled, be alert, resist him and be serious. Let's close our eyes in prayers. Mm -hmm.